Hi guys, time for another homework helper, and this time we're looking at place value to the hundred thousands. So let's review what we've already done. We've already talked about the ones place. We've already talked about the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. We've also talked about how important it is to put that zero in there that separates our places. Now I want you to take a look at the next two places we'll be looking at today. We're looking at the ten thousands and the hundred thousands tonight. So now we're going to be talking about six places. The other night we were just talking about four and we've added on two more places. Something I think is really cool is this. Notice that you see the word tens right there after the ones. And then notice right after the thousands you see a ten. And then right after the hundreds you see hundred again. So it kind of repeats itself. It has a ones, tens, hundreds, then it has thousands as a new grouping, but then it's ten thousands and then hundred thousands. And so each of this is the thousands are over on the left side of our comma, and that's going to help separate it. So it's going to help us when we're reading our number. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, as you remember, standard form means this is just the way we usually see the number. So I'm going to read this, uh, let you take a look at it, so you can see how you can hear how it's read. This says 20,000, and when we get to that comma, I always go thousand. 20,608. We do not say 608. It is 20,608. The next one is 562,621. We have 37,058. We did not say anything about hundreds because it has a zero and it doesn't have any hundreds. The next one is 402,596. Let's take a look at the next one. Expanded form. Remember, that's when we take our number and we break it apart and we tell what each value is. So an important thing to remember about this is that you have to count how many places we're actually working with. So in this first one, I'd see there are three places, a comma, and three places. So if I were to write this number in standard form, I would need to make sure that there were, there were three places, a comma, and three places. And then I would just fill those in with what needs to be there. There is a one right here, so I would put a one right there. That represents 100,000. Right here, I am dealing with 30,000, so I put it in the three ten thousand because three ten thousands really equals 30,000. The next one, notice that is right next to the comma. Here's my comma, and the five is right next to it. We know that represents 5,000. And then we have four in the hundreds place, we have a one in the tens place, and we have a nine over here in the ones place. So that number is read 135,419. But we'd separate that out as 100,000 plus 30,000 plus 5,000 plus 400 plus 10 plus nine. That's a lot of numbers. The next one, we only have five spaces. So we have one, two, comma, one, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and put those spaces here. One, two, comma, one, two, three. And now we're going to fill it in just like we did before. First, we have an eight in the ten thousands because that means that we have 80,000. That's eight ten thousands. Do you see any thousands there? I don't see any. So I'm going to have to hold a place and say plus, or I'm going to have to say um, that there are no thousands. The next one is 500, so I'm going to put it in the hundreds place. The next one has a value of 20, goes in the tens place. And the last one is 1. So we would read that number 80,529. All right, the next one is taking word form and putting it into standard form. Remember, word form is just how we read it. So if you're reading the number, remember that clue that that comma is there and it's going to separate when we have thousands versus when we have hundreds or tens and ones. Notice this, 289,000, and then look right here, 289,000. Then we have 465. Notice right here, 465. Kind of cool, isn't it? Look at the next one. 
Again, we have our word form, but this time we're putting it back into expanded form. So I have 97,000. And notice that's 90,000 plus 7,000 because that's 97,000. Then we have 453. So I have 400 plus 50 plus 3. So this would actually be 97,453. That's what it would look like. Next, we're taking expanded, remember the really big, and we're making it smaller. So I've done that for you right here, but we're going to take a look at it. This 8 represents 80,000. This 6 represents 6,000. This 7 represents 700. This 9 represents 90. And this 7 represents 7. So we have 86,797. All right. It's time for us to practice a few of these, and we'll do two together, and then I want you to turn it off, and I want you to try it yourself and come on back and check it. All right, we're working in standard form. That means just how we usually see it. So I look at my number. Um, it's in word form, 48,000, and I'm going to go ahead and write 48,000. That's where that comma comes. There's my comma right there. 203. So I'm going to add that in, Two hundred. Three. The next one, I see 200,000 plus 8,000 plus 400 plus 10. So I know that this is going to have to have six spaces because my very first number has six spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in those six spaces. I have a two in the 200,000th place. I don't have any 10,000, so I'm going to have to put a zero there to hold that place. The next one, I have an 8 for the 8,000. Then I have 400, and I have 110. But how many ones do you see? I don't see any ones. So we're going to have to hold a place there as well. All right, I want you to pause the video. I want you to try the rest on your own and come back and we'll check them, okay? All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and just check these. All right, I notice I have six spaces here, so I'm going to need six spaces in my answer. I have 100,000. I have no 10,000s. Did that trick you? I have 5,000. I have no hundreds. Did that trick you? I have three tens, which is 30, and I have eight. So my number actually says 105,038. The next one says 302,000, so I'm going to write 302,000, and the next part just says 54, so there are no hundreds in there. I'm going to have to hold a place for my hundred, and I'm going to put my 54. The next one has five places, so I'm going to make sure, I don't have a lot of space here, we're going to have to go over the top. I'm going to make sure that I have room for five places. The first one is 50,000, so I need a five there. There are no thousands. There are eight hundreds. There are five tens, and there are nine ones. That number is 50,859. The next one has six places. Ooh, I really didn't leave a lot of room here, did I? One, two, three, comma, one, two, three. All right, let's change colors. I have six in my hundred thousands. I have no, oops, I have three ten thousands. I have no thousands. I have no hundreds. I have eight tens and no ones. Wow, this number should look like this. 630,080. Woo, it's going right off my board. All right, we've got one more. The next one should have six places. Let's pick another color. Should have six places, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, and it should be 934,725. How'd you do? I hope you did well. Let's try that next kind. The next kind is in expanded form. Remember, we want to show the value for each one. So let's begin by changing our color. All right, I see a five right there, but it's in the hundred thousands place. So I'm going to have to say that this has a value oops, of 500,000. All right, next we're going to have to add the 10,000. So do you see that nine right there? 
That is 90,000. Now we're going to have to add on the thousands, which is eight. So we have 8,000. Then we have the hundreds. I'm going to say 900 plus. We don't have any ten, so we can leave it blank or add a ten. And then we have our three. So we have uh, 598,903. All right, next one. We have 990,000, right with my finger here, plus 5,000, plus no hundredths, plus 50, plus 6. Now this time I left, I, I didn't put plus 0, I just left it out completely. All right, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4. You've got 4 to try on your own and come on back and we'll check them, okay? All right, I hope you had time to pause the video and check them out for yourself. And now I'm just going to go over the answers. Notice I have, uh, let's see, 513,000. All right, now it might be easier for you to write this number down first and then expand it. If you want to do it that way, that would be perfectly fine. 513,204. All right, there's my number in standard form. So now we're going to have to expand that. So that makes 500,000 plus 10,000 plus 3,000 plus 200 plus, you could put 0 plus 4 or just the plus four, that would be fine. All right, next one, 31,910. I think that we will go ahead and write that number first. So we have 31,910, and now we can expand it a little better. So 30, whoa, 30,000. I couldn't find my pen tonight, so I'm using my finger and it's looking really messy. 30,000 plus 1,000 plus 900 plus 10. And we don't have any ones, so you can leave it like that or say no ones. All right, next one. We have 40,000 plus 7,000 plus 300 plus no tens, plus four ones. And the last one, mm, let's see, I'm feeling a little purple. Last one, we have 300,000. It's just a fun word to say, isn't it? 300,000 plus no 10,000. So I'm gonna put a zero to hold its place, but you could leave that out. Plus 7,000 plus no tens, no hundreds, and six ones. And we have somebody who's trying to join me tonight. So that was no tens, no, no hundreds, no tens, and six ones. All right, I hope that you did really well on this. And I guess since she just really wants to be introduced, this is Sapphire Jaden, and she is my schnauzer. Can you say hi to the boys and girls, Sapphire? Tell them you're good at place value too, huh? <laughs> Have a good night, and I hope that you are getting better and better each time you practice.